Why do I think this uh, Micro Four Thirds DSLR is quite stunning even in 2024? Welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a review of the Olympus E520, a Micro Four Thirds camera, but a DSLR camera uh, that I like very much. When I received this kit from 2008 for only 50 euro some weeks ago, uh, I thought I would only keep this to make a, a review. But as the weeks have passed and I've shot with uh, this uh, kit, um, I find that it's uh, quite a nice camera and it produces some very nice images, so I'll definitely keep it. The kit doesn't only come with the 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens, it also came with a 40 to 150 millimeter lens. So for 50 euro, I got this kit that covers, uh, as it is a micro, micro four thirds camera, from 28 millimeters all the way to 300 millimeters in full frame equivalence. Quite amazing. First of all, let's get some facts out of the way. Although this is a Micro Four Thirds camera, it has a larger flange distance than the later models from Olympus, like this very early uh, pen camera, which is a mirrorless camera. So they both have uh, Micro Four Thirds sensors, but the flange distance on the uh, DSLR is larger, so uh, the lenses doesn't, doesn't fit on this one. And it's a different mount also. So these are different, although they both are Micro Four Thirds from Olympus. Although the lenses are a bit uh, plastic, as you can see with the plastic mount and uh, all uh, plastic built, of course, glass in the internals of the lens, uh, it produces uh, quite nice images anyway, so that's a, that's a good thing about this camera. This camera only has 10 megapixel resolution, but as I pointed out in the previous video on my Nikon D100, which only has a 6 megapixel resolution, uh, you can see the video up here. Uh, in that video, I also talked about how much you could do with 6 megapixels only, and this is 10. And for most uh, uses on social media, for websites and smaller size prints up to like A4, uh, 10 megapixels is quite enough. And only if you need uh, larger prints or very need some very high resolution, maybe to crop in on, uh, you need higher uh, resolution than the 10 megapixels. Normally, it would be quite enough. For its time, it had a pretty large uh, LCD, which is 2.7 inches. Um, today, we are used to much more than that, but for its time, 2008, it was a very large screen actually. And it also has uh, live view, so you actually can shoot uh, in the live view mode, which also was unusual at that time um, for DSLR cameras. So also a nice feature on uh, this uh, little camera. You might have noted that these lenses doesn't have image stabilization, but that's due to the factor, factor that uh, this uh, camera or Olympus uh, already in 2008 uh, included sensor shift technology, meaning that uh, it actually has what we today call IBIS, uh, in-body image stabilization, uh, due to the sensor shift technology. And the sensor shift is also used to clean the sensor. So uh, an early adoption of this from Olympus side. Very nice. ISO on this camera goes all the way up to 1600, but I wouldn't use it. Uh, and I would only use uh, 800 megapixels uh, if it was really necessary. 
Another small thing that annoys me about this camera is that uh, although it has two slots for picture cards, uh, one is a compact flash, the old uh, nice format, uh, so I'm quite satisfied with that. The smaller one is an XD picture card and that is an unusual format, not used by very many, or at least not used anymore. Um, so I don't like that it is uh, this kind of card. I would prefer an SD card. I only use the compact flash because I don't have any XD cards and I'm not uh, intending to buy one. This camera has no video features whatsoever, but uh, that's no worry to me because uh, usually I don't use the same camera for photography as I use for videography, um, so it doesn't matter to me. But as you've seen, uh, this camera actually has a lot of uh, very advanced features for its time. Uh, today they are quite uh, normal, but uh, that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. And uh, it'll stay in uh, my portfolio cameras uh, and I'll keep it once in a while when I do sort of uh, semi-retro photography. Because real retro is only when I use uh, analog cameras with film. So I hope you liked this little review of uh, the Olympus E520 DSLR camera in the Micro Four Thirds technology. And I hope you will see why uh, for very few money you can get a camera that can do very nice images actually. If you liked the video please subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button so you can get more videos from my side. So thank you very much for this time and bye for now.